necessary to stamp out violence before it becomes firmly entrenched in Australian sport. Magpies had won the flag in 1927 and 28 and went into this match hot favourites despite having lost the second semi to Richmond. Eleven Collingwood players received death threats in the days leading up to the match but fortunately the letters were intercepted by Collingwood officials and withheld. Led by Sid Coventry, Collingwood won the toss and leapt straight into attack, kicking six goals to two in the first quarter. Collingwood's great full forward, Gordon Coventry, became the first man to kick 100 goals in a league season in 1929. But this day, he was subdued. Forward pocket, Tuddy Edmonds, came to the rescue, though, for Collingwood, kicking five goals. The Magpies were to win by 29 points, equaling Carlton's record of 1906, 7 and 8. And the following year, Collingwood made it four in a row by winning the 1930 Premiership. The grand final of 1929. Yes, it really was one of the golden eras of football, particularly so for the Collingwood Football Club. As we mentioned, they went on to make it four premierships in a row. And wouldn't the Collingwood...